Okay, here we are again. So this video, Open Up Premiere, is going to be on how to arrange a YouTube video. Visions of Jesus is a, a temporary title for this project, but uh, I don't have a full title yet. So we're going to come over to the video, which I have saved here. These are my folders on the side that are like kind of go-to folders. Okay, so it's called Third Project here and we'll just drag it into the timeline and then on the time timeline what we're going to get is do we want to change the sequence settings I think we may as well do that in this case to match the video and we're going to take a look at this video over here in the side the projects go to the properties and we see the size, the frame rate 60, that's good. Size is good, 1920 by 1080. Um, okay, so what we actually want to do is right click and go to go to reveal and explore. And then we're gonna have it back where we were, where we pulled it from, right click it, go to properties, go to details, and we're gonna look at we're gonna notice the data rate. The data rate's really high, about fifty megabits per second which would be 50,000 kilobits per second okay so we have a very high bit rate um, means file size is what is it almost two gigs okay so I already watched this video so we're not going to watch the whole thing um, it's still loading up here what I want to do is open this up so I can look at the waves and here's the only one thing I want to change about this video because the rest of it is uh, is good to go so what I want to change is the beginning I don't want that in the beginning I'm, I'm taking my arrows my arrow keys and I'm finding this first frame right here when I tap forward to the right that's my first frame blade B chop it okay what I want to do is I want to highlight this and press control X and it's deleting it uh, it's actually cutting it it's not deleting it I'm going to click here and press the delete key and it's going to bring my video to the front and this should be my intro and it shall come to pass okay then after this intro it's about 15 seconds after the intro to 15 seconds come to this frame and I'm going to click paste and I'm going to go to edit paste insert and it's going to put that back that clip that I took out from the beginning and then over here this little clip right up until here blade B chop it copy this click control X and then actually what I can do is I can grab these two and back them up Come back to the beginning of the project, Control V, paste it, and so now I have this. This is the the layout. What what I did here was I made the first 15 or so seconds. It's uh, an introduction that hooks your viewer, and then after that, I mean, it could be five seconds, it could be 10 seconds, and you could push it with 15 seconds. But right after that is when you have your logo flash and your introduction. Um, it, it's you know. Your, your branding rather and then right after that you get into the meat of the video and so the only thing I'd worry about here are pop noises from the cuts we could easily hold alt and highlight this audio and press control T and it will automatically stick these little crossfades which don't always they're not always your best option to have those there but but in general it's a quick it's a quick way to get transitions on multiple clips and this is um, the static so this is how it plays out then you got your 15 seconds then you got your your branding and then you get the meat of your video and from that point it's just a matter of how good your video is to retain people's attention if you can get them past this first initial you know get them to not click away from here and they might go halfway they might go three quarters they might go quarter they might go all the way so let's take a look at that intro
And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. The average person has more... Okay, so a little choppy coming in with the bang. Also, when we're playing this back, I'm playing it back half quality. So when we look at it on a big screen and you see this stuff does not... Right now it looks sharp, but when it plays, it, it'll get blurry. Look at the logo. Anyway, that's a whole other story. That's over here, your quality, full, half, quarter for editing. Um, my computer can handle it pretty decently on half. You're sacrificing quality of just your, your preview in order to compensate and get better performance so you because you can't edit when everything is all choppy all right so we want this to overlap now so I'm gonna cut it here and then let's see I'm gonna remove that and then let's listen to the audio dreams dreams okay so literally after dreams but we can't go any further because there's more sounds, so um, we're gonna do we're gonna delete here. It'll bring us in, and then we can put this, and we could put this. That's a cross constant power for the audio, and then uh, control plus and minus to zoom in and out of the timeline. And I'm gonna put a uh, sorry a cross dissolve, and then over here I'm gonna test out where it begins. It's going to begin right with the with this blasting. Okay, and then this one, the audio can match it. There we go. I think we're good to go. Let's just test the audio over here. That's fine. Alright, so check this. And your old men shall dream dreams. See, so much better. Okay. And it shall come to... There we go. That's good to go. The rest of it is on the video itself. I mean, I'm sure there's other things we could do to it, but it really doesn't need it. The video kind of stands alone as its own information. Um, this type of thing... This type of image... Looks smushed. Hold Alt, put the blade on, hold Alt. That's coming back to about here ish. Because he looks like a normal width here, he doesn't look like he's squished. But once you get here, get here this guy looks very squished and that's because the image is right here and it's a, like a squished image to begin with okay so we'll cut right here and I don't know if I'm gonna keep what I'm about to do but I just want to experiment with it for a minute click on the clip go to motion okay what we want to do is unlock the uniform scale and then I'm going to shrink this down to like, let's try 25%. And then I'll click on motion. Actually, let's go to 50% so we can see better. I'm on motion. And if I were to, if, if this were on a uniform scale and I were to drag out, it would drag everything uh, proportionately. So I'm gonna click Control Z to undo that. But if I have this off, I can drag out individually so I can pull these this frame out wider to about right about there ish where it should be and now this whole clip should probably be corrected in its um, proportions in Islam Ali's experience in Mecca is there's a little audio pop there I don't know if that came from sometimes you cut video and it makes an audio pop Islam Ali's no there's an audio pop there okay so there's an audio pop right here how this wave, you can actually watch this wave get cut. 
uh, you can see right here how it just abruptly cuts. So let's say, let's cut here. Actually, let's come in right about, let's cut this. We'll cut Islam. This. We'll take all this and hold all and press delete and crunch it all in. Take a constant power and see what a little fade does. Islam. Ali's experience. See that how quickly it actually works. Fill the requirements in Islam. Ali's experience in Mecca is drama. And it cleaned up the pop and it made this video. If you actually look at what it would look like, well, I don't want to put it back, but if you click double click on it, double click the clip and it should open up over here. And you could see the total difference of, let's put this at fit. I mean, two totally different images now. So we fixed the, the proportions on that. Ali's experience in Mecca is dramatized in this DVD called More Than Dreams. But that night I saw Jesus in a dream. First, Jesus touched my forehead with his finger. And after touching me, he said, you belong to me. And then he touched me above my heart. You have been saved. Follow me. You belong to me, he said. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to finish the Hajj, the pilgrimage. Whatever it takes, I am going to follow that voice. I think our God is... Okay, <clears throat> that's enough. That's just a little bonus, um, little aspect ratio bonus there. I'd say we're finished with this one. So my timeline is already highlighted. I'm going to press Control E, pull up my settings. I'm going to go to H.264 and pull up my presets here, which are going to match exactly what this video is. But in case you don't know, it is on video 60 frames per second. It's on target bit rate and maximum bit rate 50, which is megabits. Um, if it were, if yours is reading in kilobits, K, kbps per second, <clears throat> it would be 50,000. Okay, audio or width is 1920 by 1080. Audio is AAC. 48,000 hertz stereo bit rate is 320 on the audio and so that's it we're just going to name this um what is it visions 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 and dreams in the last days something like that we'll change it we'll figure out a better title but there it is, and then I think we're good to go. We're going to cue this out, and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta now, y'all.